Okay, you need a Phillips screwdriver. A drill is nice to have, but uh, you got to remember all the parts are made out of extruded aluminum. So I would recommend just having a screwdriver only. Flathead screwdriver. You're going to have a level. You're going to have a 10 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, a three quarter inch wrench, and some small channel locks just for snugging up the fittings for the uh, for the water lines. That's all you're going to need. All right, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to notice right off the bat, you have some feet. You've got a nut right there and some thread. You're going to get a level. You're going to level the base by adjusting the feet on the bottom. We'll show you now how you adjust the feet on the bottom. Then you can thread the foot in and out where it needs to be. Remembering, once you get it to its set point, you get the wrench, snug up that nut so it locks the foot in place. Okay, so we're going to take our screw. You should probably move next time. I'm going to hold that in right tight there though. And you can thread that in. It's a 3.5 by 30 screw. Thread it into the end. Then we'll be putting the top rail on, threading it up there. Nice. Okay, so once the bottom's mounted, we're going to come to the top. You can see it's going to fit right in there into that little slot. And then this guy's going to come right down onto the glass and two screws into the end on that side and it'll hold itself. I got from here. Okay, now once you have both of the uh, fixed glass pieces into the frame, we're going to set the frame onto the base. Okay, so we'll just loosely sit that into the base, and now we're going to grab one of the side walls. And it's going to slip as the chain comes up here. I'm just going to show you quickly. Right here, you've got this little groove. And it's going to fit, oh, where's my hand, right over top of this. So you can see here, it's going to tuck the bottom in. Well, there we go. That slips in. So it's right at the top. Nice, beautiful fit there. So we're going to do that on both sides. We're going to take here the 4 by 14 screws. We're inside the shower. We're going to be inside the shower right there. One's going to go. There's going to be two down there. And then all the way along this bottom base, a couple more screws are going to go to mount that to the base. Then again at the bottom there, and up in that top corner. That's where the 4 by 14s are going to go. Now that we have both panels in, they're sitting down nice. We're going to take our next panel with the seat right here, and we're going to set that down right next to there. So, Alright, so we're going to set that in spot, and you'll notice here right before we go, you've got a hole there, hole there. So your three holes are going to line up, that's going to tuck in. If you look at your instructions, so this right there, use a 4 by 25 self-drilling screw. And we've got a bag right here, a 4 by 25 self-drilling screws. You're going to notice when you get these screws in the bag, there's a nice little cosmetic cap that's going to go over top. There we go, get that nice and snug. Then we've got the cap there. Cap goes over, looks nice. No silicone. You're going to notice a rubber gasket there at the bottom. You're going to make sure that's sitting nice. So they do come off, so you want to make sure that they're all set in following the transition. Okay, so now we have these two panels installed. We're going to grab the back, tire corner piece. Now, again, as these guys are coming up here, I'm just going to show you really quick that right here, there are piloted holes that line up with these holes again. No silicone needed. Put it in. So the back piece is mounted now. The little cosmetic caps in where the holes were. Okay, now we have all the panels mounted together. We're going to secure it to the base. You'll see down here, there's a little mounting lug and there's a hole right through the base there and there. And then again on the other side, there's a spot right there and right there. 
because everything can move around right now. So we're going to go take this bag right here. And then you've got these little inserts, some washers, some bolts, and some nuts. And we'll get those put in so it's anchored in spot. Point I want to make with everyone doing the installs here is this. We've got this mounting bracket right here. And we've got this rubber grommet that goes through. The grommet has to go down flat first because this is going to end up making a seal there. Then we can have the bolt running through everything because it's going to squish that seal. And it's, the reason for that is because we're not using any silicone on these pieces. If by chance some water or moisture does come through, it comes into this back tray here and you've got little runoff spots for it to go back into the shower again. So we want to make sure that that little rubber grommet is on the bottom and then when we tighten this bolt up, it compresses it and makes a seal there so we do not end up with a leak onto the floor. And it just uh, comes right over top and kind of sets into place. So we got that down, what we're going to do next is we'll just give a nice little wipe inside of the base there and put the wood floor down, I'll grab that right now. Alright, now the doors. Alright, so setting the doors down, this is really cool. These wheels right here, they're sitting on springs, you can see that flex. So what I'm going to do, just back up to get a good view of this little thing. Get the bottom wheels, get them set in their track. Set the top, set the top wheels in the track. It's done. Then we grab the other door. Done, now we'll hit some seals and hardware. Okay, let's see if you can focus on this. Okay, so we got a little flap there. That's going to go towards the outside glass to be mounted on the door. So. What that's going to do is, as it closes, it sets a gap right here so the water can't get out. So it just closes up, sticks out, makes a seal right there. We'll do the other side. So we're going to make sure that flap is going out towards the outside glass. When it closes, makes a seal right there. Beautiful. Handles. It's an Allen key. It's one there, 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 and there. So there's four per each. You get an Allen key with it. So we loosen them off. Then you're going to have this fitting. So we're going to loosen this fitting off right here. And take those off on both sides with a Phillips screw. So we'll take all this and we'll hike over here. Moderately set. And those. Snug that up. Snug that up. This side is just going to set right over the top. Slowly get that set screw back in there, and we'll run through all four of them until we have this securely mounted. Okay, we're going to mount the soap tray. So, for mounting the soap tray, here's your mounting bracket for mounting the soap tray. On the top here, we have a set screw for the mounting bracket. We'll loosen that off, open that up, cosmetic plate over top, and here's your mounting bracket. If you're mounting this, we're going to put the screw through. We're going to have a rubber bushing, 
That's going to go up against the glass. On the back side of the glass, you're going to take a flat washer and then the nut. It's going to get sandwiched in between there. And that's about it. So we'll go, uh, we'll do that. All right, so let's go mount this. So again, what I have here is I have the nut going, or the screw going through, rubber gasket, and we're just going to set those through. And you want to make sure that that uh, little set screw uh, divot is on the top. So we're going to put these through. And okay, top. Have someone on the other side with the uh, flat washer that's going to go against it, and then the nut. Okay, I'm going to snug that up. Bottom. You want to make sure you hold that gasket up with your fingers. Snug that up, not too tight because you don't want to damage the glass possibly. And I'm just going to run to get the plate. And put our plate on. Put the top of the bracket on there. Tighten up that set screw. These are loose, that's normal. And then we'll just get the glass and we'll mount it in here. I'll go get that right now as well. Okay, so for the glass, you're going to have your bottom piece, you're going to have the rubber that's going to set up against the glass, you're going to have a rubber on top, and you're just going to have that loosely set in place. And we'll get the other one. Two pieces, two gaskets. Again, loosely in place. So we can set everything nice and straight. And just, just snug. Nice. There's your salt tray. Hey, shower, mounting the shower, handheld. Again, we have set screws. So we loosen off the set screw, pull that out. Set screw on that guy as well, right there. So that's going to hold that one out. We're going to mount these onto the shower, then this is going to slip in. You want to make sure when you mount this though that it is tapered for the. Uh, for the uh, handheld shower to actually lock in because if you're upside down it's not going to sit very nice locks in really nice this way so make sure your tapers on the top okay now for the handheld shower just got a little threaded cap in there this already has a gasket in it just thread him on tight And on this guy, unthread him. You notice there you got two uh, little washers. So, take this guy out here. Tighten him up. And mount your handheld shower. Okay, so for the mounting brackets for the handheld shower, what you're going to take is these screws. You have the extra screws that came from the soap tray. So there's going to be two extra screws with washers and nuts from the soap tray, and therefore these two mounting brackets for the handheld shower, alright? Okay, now we're going to tackle the back side here with all the wires, and I'll try to give you as simple explanation as possible on them. Um, obviously, one right here is your large steam hose. And it comes with the hose clamp, so that's going to go in your steam outlet. We'll tighten that up. And then while we're down here, 
you take a look, there's your drain line. It is collapsible and flexible, so that's your drain line that runs underneath. Running to that, you have this little uh, small hose, and you've got this one that's coming out of the bottom of the steam generator. This is the drain for the steam generator. Now, one thing you will notice right off the bat, if I hook that up, it's a little long and it kinks off, so it's not going to drain. So you are going to have to take some measurements here and just cut that down to size, put it on, just to make sure there's no kinks in that line. So that's what we'll look at there. Now as we move our way up, we'll come to the top of the top of the steam generator. Now the line that's say more in the center and to the outside edge, that's your filling line. And this one that's at the back, this is for cleaning and aromatherapy. So we'll take the one for cleaning and aromatherapy. You're gonna take your gasket that comes with it. Okay, thread that line on. Here we're gonna take the fill line, gasket for it as well. And it's gonna hook up to the bottom here for your, where your water inlet is. You see here, hot water, cold water. So this is where your main water comes in. Drop down through this zone valve. Because the zone valve is gonna open and close allow water in the steamer. So let's go back and we'll hook that up. And we're gonna run through these wires here. We're going to find the two right here. It's also the only two ends that look like this. You'll notice when you're hooking stuff up, everything pretty much only fits in one spot. Now these wires do not matter if you cross them over. Just hook them up to the zone valve. You have your main power. That'll be basic for your electrician. Now we're going to look at these wires. That one looks like a fan, so it's going to hook up to the fan, obviously. One is a speaker, has a picture of a speaker on it. Now you have two light ones. One sometimes isn't hooked up. It's got four, it's got a four pin plug. The four pin plug is your chromotherapy. It's the multi lights on the, from the roof. So your four pin and your two pin, which is just your main lights. Around, you've got two water connections right here that are coming off. If you want to know where these are going to, we're just simply going to come around inside. You don't have to see it necessarily if the camera can't, but bottom right is a handheld shower and the top right is the overhead shower. So when we step out, come over here, this bottom one is going to go to the handheld shower, which it already has a gasket, and it's going to run down to the fitting for the handheld shower. And this one, we're going to run up top, we're just going to go to the overhead shower. So now we'll go head up there with all the wires. Okay, now we're on top of the shower, so we have the rain shower, thread that on first. Now we're going to grab this bundle of wires, you're going to see right here, you have this, that's for your FM radio, so you can string that up to get a uh, decent reception. And we're going to grab all these wires, so I'm going to grab the one that looks like a fan, and I've got the fan right here. So we're plugging that one in. Got the one that has a speaker picture on it. We plug that one into the speaker. There we go. Now we have our two lights. And it's a two and a four prong. And you'll see here we've got two lights hooked together only with a two prong on it. So that's your main light. It's going to be hooked up. Then these other four lights all ran in a series to the four prong connection. So that's obviously what that was going to plug into. And we have everything hooked up on the roof. Now we can just get some zip ties, clean all the wires up. And there you have it. One last thing I want to point out really quick is on the control box here. See it's just Back side of the shower at the top control box does in fact have a schematic with the same little pictures right there for the wires that are coming out, let you know where everything plugs into, alright?